Jesus walks on the water. We must remember that Jesus has just fed all those very many people with just two fishes and five little loaves of bread. Now he tells his disciples to get into the boat and go to the town of Bethsaida, which is on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Jesus said he would come later. So off go the disciples. He stayed there to tell the people they could go home. After sending them away, Jesus went into the hills to pray. That night, the boat was in the middle of the Sea of Galilee. Jesus was alone on the land, but he saw the followers working hard to row the boat because the wind was blowing against them. It was between three o'clock and six o'clock in the morning that Jesus came to them, walking on the water. He continued walking until he was almost past the boat. When the disciples saw Jesus walking on the water, they all cried out. They thought he was a ghost. They had all seen him and they were all terrified. But Jesus spoke to them. Have courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Then Jesus got into the boat with them. The wind became calm and the followers were greatly amazed. They had seen Jesus make more bread from the five loaves, but they didn't understand what it meant. Their minds were closed. When they had crossed the lake, they came to the shore at Gennesaret. They tied the boat there, and when they got out of the boat, the people saw Jesus and immediately recognised him. They ran to tell others everywhere in the area that Jesus was there. They brought sick people on mats to every place Jesus went. Jesus went into the towns and cities and farms around that area, and everywhere he went, people brought the sick to the marketplaces. They begged him to let them just touch the edge of his coat and all who touched him were healed. Wasn't that a great story? We see the disciples being blown and tossed around by the wind and the waves. I think I would have been very scared. How about you, Snappy? Would you have been scared? I think Snappy would have been because he's not really a sea crocodile. He's more of a river and a pond crocodile. So this miracle, um, which is not like the loaves and the fishes because it wasn't seen by thousands of people, it was just seen by the disciples. You see, Jesus knew that they had not understood about the loaves and the fishes. And he wanted them to know that he was truly the Son of God, that he had authority and that he cared for them. You see, in this little fishing boat on that day were the disciples who would, when Jesus had returned to heaven to be with the Father, well, they would be the ones to go and tell everyone about Jesus. They would draw together all the new believers and they would travel and spread the good news of Jesus. So let's leave our Bible people here for this week. And we'll see them again with another great Bible story.